on the upper end of 28 in Graham County, North Carolina, headed towards the Iron Horse Motorcycle Lodge. So if you've never been in, coming from the Asheville side down 74, you can watch this video. It'll show you how you can get back in there to it. A lot of guys have a little trouble finding it for some reason. So we'll um, be taking a ride here in just a little bit. This is the upper end of 28, better known as Moonshiners 28. And I hope to put a video up to that. I'll be on Moonshiners 28 tomorrow, so you can watch for that coming out. Very popular, great, great, actually one of my favorite rides over in this area. So, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. But you're kind of in a dilemma when you get here and on up a little bit, do I cut left across to Robbinsville and and hit the Chirahalo? Do I go straight on up 28 and hit the Dragon? So if you don't have a lot of time, you really have to make a choice, you know, which one am I going to do, so. But, you take a ride right, right here on Gunter, G-U-N-T-E-R Gap Road. Or you can go on down another probably half mile and take a right. It's a much straighter road in, but this one's just a lot quicker. Let's come around through here. Some beautiful weather. And if you've never been down to the lodge, I hope to give you a tour of it along with this video if everything goes well. Probably best, what the best, well kept, in my opinion, place to stay if you're on your motorcycle. If you want to camp, you can do that. If you want a private cabin, you get a private cabin. If you want a semi private cabin, you can do that. They have a bunkhouse. The meals are great here. Of course, you're kind of here away from civilization, so you have to pay for it. But, um, you know, I think an evening meal is probably somewhere around $10 on average. And camping's reasonable. The semi-private cabins are pretty reasonable. So when you get here, you want to take a right on Lower Stokoa road but you know even if you're not staying here it's worth coming by and they have a place down here where you can put some air in your tires on your bike if you need to and you can grab some snacks, use a restroom, check out some other bikers and things. So, even if you're up toward the Dragon, especially on this upper end, it's definitely worth stopping in and checking out. So, as you can see, we're headed back in to the mountains just a little bit, which to me makes this a great place to stay. kind of easy to miss if you're not careful. There's a sign you can see and it's right here on the left. About missed it myself. This is the owner's home to the left. You can see campers here. Full size campers. Then they have a place where you can park your bikes here and also around on the back side. Some tent camping there in front of us, which I've stayed in there several times. Great place. Restrooms right here in front of us and You can see, really nice place.
We're going to go around. I'm going to go ahead and take my bike around and see if there's room under that back garage. I'll go ahead and park and walk back over to the... See if a room's ready. There's some more um, nice camping places over here on this side that have a gravel pit over here to my right. I have stayed there also. And they're very nice, especially if you're going to be getting a lot of rain. So right here are the semi. That's my cabin right there. Pull here into the garage. Alright, let's go check in.